My next question is from Facebook, uh, Kohler on Facebook. He says, um, John MacArthur says Jesus was sweating blood in the garden because he was about to take sin on himself and he has never experienced that. What is your viewpoint? So why was, why was Jesus sweating drops of blood? Is it because of... Well, the Bible doesn't say, but I would agree with him. You know, I, I would agree with that. You know, uh, there, there's not a, there's not a whole lot that you see Jesus worried about. Mm. You know, throughout uh, the scripture, he's, you know, he's fearless. But when it comes to uh, the sin bearing, uh, Jesus says in the garden, Father, you know, if it's possible, let this cup pass from me. And if not, nevertheless, your will be done. And he prays that three different times. And so, yeah, I, I think that that's what, he, that's what he was looking at. I don't think that he was afraid of uh, the crucifixion itself. I, I think he was afraid of the sin bearing. And that's just an opinion. Uh, and MacArthur has that opinion. And I, uh, and I would agree with him on that. So. Uh, I also heard um, people saying it's connected to that, but it's the first time where you have the father and the son disconnected. You know, kind of mm -hmm. like a separation of the Trinity in a sense, because he's made sin and, mm -hmm. you know, and it's so it's a, sp a lot of spiritual things going on there that people don't realize that it's not just the physical, the pain of the crosses, there's like a spiritual thing going on. Right. There is a, uh, um, the, the whole uh, suffering in the garden uh, becomes a major thing later on in, in church history as far as defining uh, the nature of Jesus and his humanity, you know, because a lot of times we just think of uh, Jesus as God in a bod, you know, God, right. God in, in a body. Uh, but the Bible teaches that he was actually human. He actually had a human will. And so you see him bending his will to the fathers, uh, where when you're talking about Jesus as, as far as his nature with the father, they're one. Uh, you know, as far as far as the will goes, and so that's one of those places where you see that Jesus is actually doing the human thing, where where his will is something different than the Father's, and he uh, puts his will aside and goes with what the Father wants in that passage. And so, yeah, and uh, you know, when again, when you're talking about the sin bearing, um, Jesus says, "My God, My God, why have you forsaken me?" And I don't think he was just saying words. And, and so there's a separation there uh, that's taking place. Right. And uh, that separation is something that Jesus didn't want. It's something that we're used to, being separate from God. And it's something that, that he'd never experienced. And so you can, you can see um, how important that is by his reaction before the fact. And it, it always makes me think of how um, how tweaked I can be where, you know, there's a, that, you know, there, there's a separation between me and the father because of my sin or because of my, you know, well, just because of my sin, my attitude or whatever. And it doesn't impact me the same way as it did Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it lets you know that there, there's a place I need to be going, uh, you know, as far as my attitude goes to be like the son. Uh, I forget what the term is, but there's actually, it's like a medical thing where you get so stressed out or anxious that you sweat drops of blood. It's not, it's, you know, that's, it can actually happen. Yeah. It's not something that. Yeah. Your, your, to Christ. your capillaries in, in your sweat glands actually burst. Right. Yeah.